let's say you have something you want to sell, maybe an amazing product or a game-changing service. How much do you charge? We've got some top tips for how to price your product, plus the secret weapons you can use when selling something new. Your prices affect two key things, the amount of sales and how much profit you make per sale. The secret is balance. Too expensive and customers won't be interested, too little and all your hard work won't be worth it. The key rule of setting prices, you need to get more money out of a sale than you put into it. Before you can accurately decide what to charge, you need to figure out what it's costing you. What does your business spend to deliver a product or service to a customer? Where your expenses come from will entirely depend on the type of business you're starting up. But consider things like supplies used, manufacturer costs, transport, storage, and distribution. Even things like potential sales commissions or the cost of hiring contractors will count. These things are sometimes called COGS or costs, meaning costs of goods sold or costs of sales. An important thing to note here is that things like utilities and rent are not part of these calculations. You just need to include what goes into creating your product or service. So now you know the damage to your bank balance, let's set some prices. There are a bunch of ways you can price your products. Firstly, you can keep things simple and add a standard markup to everything you sell, a percentage on top of what it costs you. There often is an industry standard for the business you're in, which could be a good baseline. Secondly, market-based pricing. This sounds more complicated than it actually is. It means look at what your competitors are doing and if you feel you offer, say, a more premium product or more convenient service, charge more. Otherwise, aim for the market average, just so long as it covers your costs. You can also try what's called price bundling. Group a few things together at a slight discount, profit margins come down, but you sell more overall. So that's a good start, but now, here are some secret weapons for selling something new. One, lower your profit margin to increase sales. You make less money now, but you attract crucial customers. If what you're selling is worth it, you'll keep them as you creep the prices back up later. Start low, go high. Two, don't be afraid to set prices of new stuff high. Some early adopters are willing to pay a premium for the latest and greatest. Start high, then as the buzz dies down, go low. Three, Sweeten the deal. Set ticket prices high at the start, but offer introductory discounts. It creates the feeling of a deal, but means you don't permanently reduce the value of what you're selling. And that's it. Some great ideas that can help you pick your price. Good for you, good for the customers, good for business, goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're after more videos like this, then we've got you covered. Plus, plenty of other great videos we think you might like too. Hit that subscribe button and give us a like.